Okay, good morning guys. I believe I got perfume inside of my dermals from spraying, you know, spraying on my body like this before work. I believe it was perfume. Could have been something else. They're new. I replaced my old ones and got new ones. But let me give you a look at what they look like. Fair warning, this is really bad. So if you can't handle the icky stuff of dermals and piercings, I suggest you turn off now. But um, I'm going to take you through my healing process. This is day one. Um, I noticed it feeling sore last night in the middle of the night, but didn't get up. When I woke up this morning, came in here, this is what it looked like. Let me show you. So it looks pretty bad. So all I'm going to do right now is clean it out with peroxide. I use this peroxide in a little spray bottle it's easier i spray it you'll see the infection oh yeah it's definitely lots of infection in there lots of infection get a new co uh, cotton swab to get the excess off yeah there's some dried up stuff on there too you can see it <sighs> sore 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 it's definitely sore. You can tell that some already popped and came out probably throughout the night. That's why it's all yucky and flat or it would be puffed up with infection. But obviously it's still in there. I know you shouldn't wipe it, but I want to get the old infection off from around there. And it looks like it was the top one that got originally infected and it probably made its way to the bottom. Because the top one is the one that's bubbling up. See, the bottom one is not so bad. So I will spray peroxide on it to keep it clean today. And then after work, I will come in and soak it with some sea salt and if it doesn't look like it's getting better tomorrow i will break down and use some neosporin on it i don't use neosporin unless i absolutely have to because neosporin will clean it it will get rid of the infection it will heal it but as it's healing it's going to want to push out the unnatural stuff that's in your skin which is your dermal so don't use the neosporin if you don't want to get rid of your dermal because it will push it out. It will try to get it out of your skin. But it will also heal it as a last resort if you have to. Ooh, that's awful. That's just awful. So stay with me and um, we'll go through the next few days of this and see how it turns out. If I have to have them removed or if I can heal it, I'm sure I'll heal it. I've had a pretty bad infection on one before. Um, it was ripped out from uh, my grandson walking over my chest and it ripped it out. Actually, it ripped out two of them. One of them I ended up removing. The other one I healed. The one that removed, I had to remove it because it ripped out completely. It was barely hanging there. The other one just got infected from the ripping motion. So I will get you tonight and we will see how this is going. Ta-ta.